Hello, welcome to Nina's Knots Crochet. I'm Lynanne. If you're new here, hi, thanks for stopping by, checking out my channel. My channel, it's all about crochet, a little bit about knitting, a lot about yarn, and my journey in this fabulous yarning community. Returning subscribers, hi, thanks so much for coming and spending a little bit of your Wednesday with me for Whip Wednesday, what you working on Wednesday, what's on your hook Wednesday, hump day. Um, today I got an update on my Sophie's Universe. I've got an update on a impromptu project. My, uh, Judy's crochet, every time, Judy's creation in crochet, uh, make along and my double dog dare knit blanket update. So let's start with Sophie's Universe. I love this project. Um, I am through round 18 on section three. So I think I'm caught up. And here we go. Look how pretty this is. I love this. I know some people were disappointed and changed away from the bobbins um, because they thought the colors were muted. I personally am absolutely loving these. I think these colors, these color combinations, is giving it a very uh, muted, feminine touch, uh, bordering on vintage. Um, and I really am, I'm loving the colors together. Um, as soon, this is getting pretty big. And I'm hoping that pretty soon we're going to start squaring it off because then my plan is to go to shades of white and gray. Let this centerpiece be the color and then the rest of the blanket be done in all whites and grays. I have plenty of gray from the darkest dark gray to the palest light gray that's almost white. And I think if I intertwine that in with the bright, bright white that I've got, I think it'll make a beautiful vintage looking feminine blanket that's going to be huge from what I can understand. And I am, I'm really excited about it. So this is through, like I said, through section, section three, round 18. And this is how far I've gotten. So, and I love this project. I'm so glad I have joined in with this because this is really a lot of fun. Um, I'm learning a lot of new techniques um, and, and gaining a little bit of understanding of construction, which is an, an important uh, piece if you want to take that next step into designing. So Sophie's Universe through round 18. The next thing I want to show you is I have finally picked out my um, shawl that I'm going to make for Judy, um, her Judy's Croche Creations in Crochet, uh, her shawl along. No, she's not the shawl along. Jackie is the shawl along. She's a make along that um, once a month, she's going to show a picture of flowers. You make something based on that inspiration. You know I've struggled with this. I've talked about it before, but I think I finally have found the perfect one. Here's a picture of it. Sorry, it's black and white, but this is called the um, Sensational Crochet Shaw. It's Red Heart um, off of the Yarnspiration site. Um, they used uh, Red Heart Fashion Soft, which is a number three. And I'm using um, Yarn B, uh, 44th Street, which is also a number three. Soft and fluffy and beautiful. I have gotten through, I think I'm eight rows in. I really just got started on this the other night. And this, I think this is exactly what I was looking for. I want something that's soft and romantic and beautiful. And this is one of those shawls that curves around so it's gonna be big enough and long enough to cover my big fluffy body 
um, you know, it's going to be perfect on the nights when I want to sit outside, but it's just a little bit chilly or the mornings I want to take my coffee out in the morning and it's still a little chilly in the shade just to throw on instead of a, you know, a sweatshirt. So like I said, I'm just in the beginning stages of this, but this is beautiful. The pattern is well written. You would expect nothing less from your inspirations. Um, the designer is Rebecca Velasquez, and I, I'm, I'm liking this one a lot. So, you know, after that huge struggle of trying to find the right pattern for the right, I think I found it. So, yay. That's project number two. The next project I'm going to show you was kind of an impromptu project. My daughter sent me a text message yesterday afternoon and said, Mom, I've been watching TikTok. Um, I need a car seat poncho for Charlotte. And Charlotte's going to be four in May. Um, so, you know, she's in a car seat for a while. And... Um, She's like, here's, she sent me a picture off of, I think, either Etsy or Pinterest. I can't remember. This is kind of, this is the idea of what I want. Well, I didn't like the pattern that she showed me. It was very boring. And bleh. and I said, okay, let me think about this. She's like, no hurry. Whenever you get a free chance, I know you're doing a lot of stuff. And I'm like, I'm the Nina. Of course, if you request something, I'm going to drop what I'm doing. And I'm going to do what you request. So I started it by um, using, oh, I, I started with for uh, the Bernat Forever Finer Fleece. And I didn't like the color. Um, I had white and blue. And I'm like, no, that's not girly enough for my little girl. Although I do like that yarn. Um, and it's just like, nah, some, it's just not talking to me. So then I grabbed some Bernat Baby Blanket. I thought, well, that would be nice and warm for a car seat poncho. Even with a number 10 hook, that stuff is impossible to work with. I'm like, nope, nope, I can't, I cannot fight this yarn. I can't do any pretty stitches with it. So I said, nope, scrap that version. And I'm sitting in there and I'm trying to figure out what am I going to make this out of? And it hit me. I have two boxes full of the Mary Maxim Mako Mona Lisa yarn why not use some of that? I love that yarn. So I came in here and I picked out a teal, a dark teal, a copper, and a creamy white. And I put those four colors together to come up with this beautiful fabric. Now my plan is I'm going to make two rectangles to the measurements from her shoulder to just above her knees. Um, I'm going to seam up the sides, leaving a hole for her head. Um, I may or may not put buttons on the side. Um, and then uh, a hood. She wants it to have a hood, so we'll put a hood on it. Um, I'm doing it in Tunisian only because I love Tunisian so much and I am using the knit stitch, the reverse stitch, the simple stitch, and the purl stitch for each different color. So every time I use the white, I'm using, I think I'm using the reverse stitch. Every time I use the dark teal, I'm doing the purl stitch. Every time I use the copper, I'm using the simple stitch. And every time I use the light teal, I'm using the knit stitch. And I think these colors are just absolutely gorgeous together. Very bohemian, very my daughter. Um, and I, I, I just, I'm really pleased how this is turning out. This is just an hour or so work last night. Um, I'm hoping to get this done by this weekend so I can get back to my other things but yeah this is this yarn is so nice and thick and it's a hundred percent premium anti-pilling acrylic and it is making this beautifully thick warm 
uh, fabric that's going to keep Charlotte warm um, in the car or wherever they're going. And um, I almost didn't use this yarn because it's like, oh my gosh, they're discontinuing this yarn. What am I going to do? So I hopped on Mary Maxim's uh, website yesterday afternoon just to see the status. Um, and they did. They had a ton of it left, but they are discontinuing it. It's gone. When this when this supply is gone, it's gone. Um, it's still on sale for $1.99. I know a lot of you are on diets. Um, you're not buying unless you, ha you know, are purposely buying. And I understand that. I, I want to do that too. But this premium acrylic yarn is just that. It's premium. It's beautiful. It's soft. It's squishy. It has beautiful definition. Um, I might buy some more to replace what I'm using only because I love these colors together. I just absolutely love those, the teals and the copper together. Then I got to thinking, I was watching Lynette at Charm Grammy Crochet and I saw, um, who else is doing it? I think, um, Allison Russell, I saw her, she's doing it. Somebody else is doing it. Several, several podcasters doing the Hobie challenge of no shades of gray. You take four solid colors, you put together a project and it's supposed to be uplifting and lifting your spirits through these gray days of, you know, middle of January to fe middle of February. This fits that bill. So now I've got this project that fits the bill for the hashtag no shades of gray with Lynette and so many others that are doing it. So I'm like, yay, I get to do one more hashtag. Like I need one more hashtag, right? So anyway, that's, that's the project that I will be working on for the rest of the week until I get this done. I'm hoping to have it done by this weekend. Um, I, it shouldn't be a problem. It's for me at this point, it's just, um, make, getting the, the square to the right size and then sewing it together. So I just have to make two panels. It'll, it, it'll go fast once I get going on it. Now that I've picked the yarn and the stitches, now it's zoom, zoom, zoom. I'll get it done. The other thing is I'm sure some of you saw my post on Instagram and on my reels on YouTube, I messed up my double dog dare blanket. And I dropped a stitch two rows down. I dropped this stitch off the hook. I don't know how I did it. I don't remember doing it and I didn't catch it until I finished this last round. It's like, how could I have missed that? But um, I put the world out, you know, out there to YouTube street. I got some really good responses from quite a few people. I have Dawn from Yarn is a Sport on speed dial if I need to. Um, but I am going to fix it. I am not going to frog it. I'm going to fix it. I'm going to get it back up on there where it belongs. And then I'm just going to keep on going. And then, then I'll put in a lifeline. So I just, I don't know how to frog knitting without starting all over and I'm not starting all over. I've made too much progress and the thought of starting over makes me want to cry. So, um, I'm going to put this away for a day or two because I'm still kind of upset with myself about it, but I am going to get back to this eventually. Um, probably Monday or Tuesday next week, I will get back to this. I will get it fixed and get moving on it again. So this poor little hole in my knitting will get fixed eventually. So that's it guys. That's uh whip Wednesday. That's uh, what I've got going on. Um, Leave me a comment. What are you working on this week? You know, drop a line on Facebook. Show me what you're working on. Um, are you working on Sophie's Universe? Are you doing the Fall Cuddler? I'd like to know who's all joining in with us and, and having a good time with all of this. Enjoying the fiber arts. Um, 
just let me know. Um, I, I really do love to hear from each and every one of you. So until we can get together again on Friday, I hope you all have a great Wednesday, a great rest of your week, and be kind to everyone.